Are you planning to adopt a cat for the first time? Welcome feline enthusiasts and prospective cat parents. Today, we delve into a topic that's often overlooked, yet is of utmost importance. Choosing the right breed of cat can make a world of difference, especially for first-time owners. Cats, like us, have a wide range of personalities and temperaments. Some breeds are known for their playful nature, while others are more laid back. And then, there are those breeds that might pose a bit of a challenge for those who've never had a cat before. That's precisely what we're here to discuss today. In this video, we'll be counting down the 10 worst cat breeds for first-time owners. This isn't to say these breeds are bad or unlovable, far from it. It's just that they may require a bit more experience to handle. So buckle up and prepare for a feline deep dive. Stay with us as we count down the 10 worst cat breeds for first-time owners. Starting off our countdown at number 10 is the Siamese breed. Known for their striking blue almond-shaped eyes and sleek short coats, Siamese cats are undeniably beautiful. However, their beauty comes with a catch. These cats are notorious for their high energy levels, making them a handful for first-time cat owners. They require constant mental and physical stimulation, a demand that can be overwhelming for those unaccustomed to the needs of such an active breed. Siamese cats are also incredibly vocal, often expressing their needs and desires through loud, persistent meowing. This can be endearing to some but for others it can prove to be a challenge. Moreover, Siamese cats form strong emotional attachments to their owners, requiring a significant amount of attention and companionship. This level of dependency may not suit everyone, especially those with busy schedules or those who prefer a more independent pet. While Siamese cats are beautiful and intelligent, they may not be the best fit for a first-time cat owner. Coming in at number 9 on our list is the Bengal breed. Now don't get me wrong, Bengals are a marvel to behold, with their leopard-like coat and strikingly intelligent eyes. However, their beauty comes with a catch. Bengals are known for their high energy levels and their keen sense of curiosity. This means they require a lot of playtime, and they'll often find unique and sometimes troublesome ways to entertain themselves. If you're picturing knocked over vases and shredded curtains, you're not far off the mark. Interestingly, these cats also love water, which might seem cute until you find your Bengal trying to join you in the shower or going for a swim in the toilet bowl. Combine these traits with their need for constant stimulation and you've got a cat that's not exactly beginner-friendly. Bengals can be a handful, making them a challenging choice for a first-time cat owner. Next on our countdown at number 8 is the Maine Coon. This breed, known for its majestic size and luscious coat, can certainly be a sight to behold. But before you fall for their allure, consider some practical aspects that might not make them the best fit for first-time owners. First and foremost, their size. Maine Coons are one of the largest domesticated cat breeds, often weighing in at up to 20 pounds. This means they require more space and can be a handful to manage, especially for inexperienced owners. Equally important is their grooming needs. Maine Coons have a thick, long coat that requires regular brushing to prevent matting and tangles. This can be a time-consuming task and might prove challenging for those unfamiliar with the routine. So, while Maine Coons are undoubtedly beautiful and lovable creatures, their size and grooming needs may pose a challenge for a novice cat owner. Coming in at number 7 on the list is the Persian breed. These cats are known for their long, lush coats and sweet personalities, but they're not necessarily the best pick for those new to the world of feline companionship. Firstly, their beautiful coats require daily grooming to keep them free of mats and tangles, a task that can be quite time-consuming and overwhelming for novice owners. Secondly, Persians have a distinct flat face which, while endearing, can lead to a host of health problems. Breathing difficulties, dental issues, and eye conditions are common in this breed due to their unique facial structure. Moreover, these cats are known to be quite sensitive and may not adapt well to changes in their environment or routine, this means they may require more stability and predictability than a first-time cat owner can provide. With their unique needs and potential health issues, Persians might not be the best choice for a first-time cat owner. At number 6 on our countdown is the Russian Blue. A breed known for its strikingly beautiful plush blue coat and mesmerizing green eyes, the Russian Blue is undeniably a sight to behold. But don't let its beauty fool you. This breed is not the best choice for first-time cat owners. Russian Blues are known for their reserved and quiet nature. Unlike some other breeds, they are not typically outgoing or sociable around strangers. In fact, they often bond strongly with one person and can be quite aloof with others. 
This means that they may not be the ideal pet for a bustling household or one with many family members. Additionally, Russian Blues require a quiet and stable environment. They can be sensitive to changes in their routine or surroundings, which can lead to stress and anxiety. This breed requires an owner who understands and respects their need for routine and stability. Russian Blues can be a bit aloof, making them a challenging choice for a first-time cat owner. Cracking into the top five on our list is the Sphinx breed. The Sphinx cat is a unique breed indeed, famous for its hairless skin and large lemon-shaped eyes. But these distinctive features come with their own set of challenges, particularly for first-time cat owners. One of the major concerns is their skin care. Unlike their furry counterparts, Sphinx cats lack a protective coat, making them more susceptible to skin issues. They require regular bathing to remove the oils and dirt that their skin accumulates. This is a responsibility that can be overwhelming for a novice cat owner. Moreover, these cats crave warmth due to their lack of fur. This means they need a warm environment all year round. They are notorious for snuggling up to their owners or finding the warmest spot in the house, which might not be everyone's cup of tea. Sphinx cats, with their unique care needs, may not be the best fit for a novice cat owner. Coming in at number four on our countdown is the Abyssinian breed. Known for their stunningly beautiful coats and captivating eyes, Abyssinians are a sight to behold. But don't let their good looks fool you. Abyssinians are a bundle of energy, always on the move. They have an insatiable curiosity that rivals their playfulness. This means they demand a lot of attention and may not be suitable for a first-time cat owner who isn't prepared for the commitment. Their high activity levels translate into a need for constant stimulation. They're not the type to lounge around all day, they need to play, explore, and engage with their surroundings. This can be a bit much for someone not used to the constant flurry of feline activity. Additionally, Abyssinians are known for their strong will and independence. This can make them a bit challenging to handle, especially for someone new to cat ownership. Abyssinians are active and curious, which can be overwhelming for a first-time cat owner. At number three on our list is the Norwegian Forest Cat. This breed, native to Northern Europe, is known for its size, strength, and striking appearance, but don't let their fluffy charm fool you. They are not the best choice for first-time cat owners, and here's why. Norwegian Forest Cats are one of the larger domestic cat breeds, typically weighing between 13 to 22 pounds. This size means they require more space and possibly more exercise than your average house cat. They are also known for their long, luscious coats, which while beautiful, require regular and thorough grooming to prevent matting and hairballs. This breed is also known for its high energy levels and intelligence. They need plenty of mental and physical stimulation which can be a lot for a novice owner to handle. So while the Norwegian Forest Cat is a beautiful and intelligent breed, their size, grooming needs and energy levels make them a challenging choice for a novice cat owner. Coming in second place on our countdown is the Ragdoll breed. Known for their striking blue eyes and soft semi-long hair coats, Ragdolls are undeniably beautiful. However, their beauty comes with certain caveats that might make them less than ideal for first-time cat owners. Firstly, Ragdolls are one of the largest cat breeds out there. Males can weigh anywhere from 15 to 20 pounds, while females range from 10 to 15 pounds. This size requires a considerable amount of space and might be a bit overwhelming for a novice pet owner. Moreover, ragdolls are known for their need for companionship. They crave interaction and can become depressed if left alone for extended periods. This characteristic means that they need an owner who can provide them with ample time and attention. Lastly, ragdolls are known to be slow maturing, reaching full size and color at four years of age. This means a long-term commitment to their care and well-being. Ragdolls, with their size and need for companionship, might not be the best fit for a first-time cat owner. And finally, the number one worst cat breed for first-time owners is the Savannah. Known for their exotic look, Savannah cats are a breed that is not for the faint of heart. These cats are a cross between a domestic cat and a serval, a wild African cat. This gives them a larger size than most domestic breeds, often reaching the size of a small dog. But size isn't the only thing you have to worry about with Savannah cats. These felines are incredibly active and require a lot of physical and mental stimulation. Without it, they can become bored and potentially destructive. Their unique heritage also gives them specific dietary needs that can be challenging for a first-time cat owner to meet. They require a diet high in quality protein and may not thrive on traditional cat food. 
While Savannah cats are stunning and unique, their needs and characteristics make them the worst cat breed for first-time owners. So there you have it, the top 10 worst cat breeds for first-time owners. We've journeyed through the distinctive traits of Siamese, Bengal, Maine Coon, Persian, Russian Blue, Sphinx, Abyssinian, Norwegian Forest Cat, Ragdoll, and Savannah breeds. Each one magnificent in their own way, yet perhaps a little too demanding for those dipping their toes in the world of feline companionship for the first time. Remember, this list doesn't mean these breeds are bad or unlovable. On the contrary, they're incredibly unique and fascinating, but they do require a certain level of commitment, understanding and adjustment that might be overwhelming to a novice. It's crucial to take into account not just the breed's characteristics, but also your lifestyle, living conditions, and even your patience level. So, do your homework, take your time, and consult with experts or experienced owners. Remember, the perfect cat for you is out there. It's all about finding the right match. Thanks for watching.